Hello everyone, it's Scott, and welcome back to another episode of Feed the Beast Infinity Evolve Skyblock Expert Mode. Yep, so I got a little bit of feedback on what I should build next with my basic machine frame, and I've decided that I'm going to work on the induction smelter, at least for the first part. So one thing I've been noticing is that a lot of these say basic and then hardened. Hardened induction smelter or higher required in order to make some of the more uh, advanced ores like redstone. And so to do that, I then decided, well, why not just craft up a hardened machine frame? So it took a little longer. Uh, this guy uh, basically is a refined circuit board, an electrum, and a golden chipset, the golden plus uh, 200 million RF, uh, lest we forget. Uh, the circuit board is very easy, just iron and redstone. And with that, I think I'm ready to progress with a uh, little bit of Invar, uh, a little more Invar, and then the redstone gear. So let's head over here. Let's drop in a little bit of redstone to make a redstone reception coil. Now let's grab the two Invar gears, the hardened machine frame. I needed a second bucket. And then uh, two pieces of Invar. Where did I put them? I grabbed the wrong thing, didn't I? Ah, uh, well. Let's head back up and grab that. So that should be right here. One, two. And let's head downstairs. I did a couple other upgrades. Um, so I actually had to take uh, most of this week off. Here we go. Bing. So I had some uh, relatives over at my house uh, all weekend, and uh, so I had to wait till everyone cleared out so that way I could get back to uh, recording. And that just gave me a trophy. Cool. Okay. Crescent Hammer Trophy. Nice. Okay. Um, let's take a look, though. I want the wire connector first. So let's put that on here. Wire, wire, cool. And this is going to power up quite nicely. Okay, awesome. And so with a hardened, uh, I should have an additional slot here that I would not have had when I was uh, uh, doing the, the basic. Uh, and so augmentation. Uh, here's all the different kinds of uh, upgrades I can do. Uh, the one that you normally pick is speed right here, uh, secondary reception coil. So that's a double time speed, but also uses 50% more uh, power. So I'm not sure if that's as great, uh, net since we're a little power constrained right now. Uh, let's see if anything reduces energy, base fuel energy. That's for dynamos uh, power output, which doesn't apply. Secondary chance, which might be cool. Uh, destroy secondary. No, why would I ever want to do that? Um, and then augmentation. Nope. Okay. I guess there's nothing here other than speed I would really want. And that's not a good thing to do right now. So the first thing I'd want to do, let's get back to that redstone ore. So that's going to require stone and a block of redstone. I don't know if I even have enough redstone here. Yeah, I only have five. Uh, so that seems to be my biggest choke point right now. So let's throw in everything back up here. Yeah, I'm just going to have to continue to let this grind down to the point that I can get dust. And then uh, throw all that in the um, automatic sieve. So, yeah, with five redstone, that's really not going to cut it. Um, so the other problem I'm running into is the coke oven is almost full of creosote. Um, but this is uh, cranking out a little bit of steel, uh, tiny bit by tiny bit. So uh, what I want to make next, if I could, is a drum. And that's going to require six steel, which I'm not really in the position to make quite yet. So bedrockium is going to take a while. Though, let me take a look. Bedrockium ingots. 
I'm curious if there's a formula here for... No, I don't see any way to go up the compressed and the triple compressed. Compressed cobblestone, octuple. Yeah, so there's no formulas here of stuff you can do with the compressed. So, wait a minute, here we go. Oh, quadruple compressed. Yeah, okay. Well, I guess that was something that was added in the uh, Agrarian Skies mod to uh, basically create your own bedrockium. Unless I'm missing uh, bedrockium fluid. I guess there's no way to create it. Yep, okay. Uh, well then how do you create bedrockium ingots? Other than nuclear fuel. I guess that's the only way you can back into it, I guess. Block of bedrockiums. Yep, that's not going to work. Okay, let's move on. So, since I also have an additional machine frame, the other thing I want to make is a magma crucible. So this one's going to be a little more challenging because I'm going to need a leadstone energy frame as well as nether bricks. Nether bricks are going to come from four nether brick, which unfortunately means I'm going to need to, though, yeah, okay, I'm going to need a lot of nether rack at this point. So now the rack I can make two ways, either by mixing lava with redstone in a barrel or I can, well, that's really the easiest way right now. Or I, or I can mix blood with gravel. So I was trying to make some bloodstained blocks, which is rather complicated. So that's from uh, mixing sandstone, or rather smooth stand sandstone with a rotten flesh. Smooth sandstone comes from mixing uh, regular sandstone together, which comes from mixing for uh, for regular sand together. So, sort of a dead end, a dead end uh, progress-wise. So, I think what I'm going to do is take advantage of that one uh, nether rack. Uh, where was that? With the induction smelter, now that I have one. Here we are at the formula again. So, for nether rack, plus one soul stand makes two nether brick. So I'm going to go with the formula that makes this in a barrel. So let's go up here and dump off the water. Oh yeah, so reporting right here in the middle you can see I have uh, something floating in the water. That is the beginning of pure Certus. So pure Certus crystals. Now, according to the directions, that's going to take 16 hours to grow uh, without acceleration. And so that's pretty pretty crazy. But, you know, that's what I have to do at this stage. So I think by next week I should have a, a piece of Certus, uh, hopefully, ready to go. So I set up my stone barrel here. So what I'm going to do is grab some lava, put it in the barrel, add a piece of redstone, and that's going to give me one nether rack. Okay, I'm going to do this three more times. Bink. 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 Okay, so that's four nether rack, and let's grab some of the soul sand from over here in this barrel. So you can see I have quite a, quite a large amount of dirt going. Uh, I've just been throwing... Um, uh, bits and pieces of the dead zombie flesh into the uh, into the barrels. So let's see if this works. So over here in the adduction smelter, let's take the nether rack and a bit of soul sand. Toss that in. Here we go. Done. Okay, nether brick. Awesome. So back to the magma smelter.
magma crucible. So there's another brick. So last thing I need is the leadstone energy cell, uh, which is going to be a little bit more complicated. Last second to okay. So I'm going to need a lot more redstone again. Okay, eight more pieces. So let me grind that down, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. So let's take a look at the magma uh, crucible formula again. So last piece I need is the leadstone energy cell frame, which appears to be just glass. Oh, forgot to get the glass. So let's head back up here. Bink. Let's grab 43 of that. And back to the formula. So I'm missing a block of redstone. So let's form that up. Okay, and one leadstone energy frame, excellent. And let's, out of curiosity, how much does that uh, leadstone energy frame hold? 400,000 RF. Okay, so automatically that high voltage capacitor is much better. And uh, there was another type of capacitor so I believe these capacitor bank blocks are a uh, little different. So let's see if I can craft any. Okay, so these are going to need basic capacitors, and they store a million per block. And they can be uh, joined in a multi-block as long as you have them in a rectangular shape. Uh, basic capacitor, I haven't really looked into yet. Signalum, okay, signalum is going to require, how do we do that? That's going to be redstone. Redstone is going to require a magma crucible. Okay, so I'm actually on the right path. So let's uh, head back to the last piece, and that should be one magma crucible. Awesome. So I think where I'm going to put this is I actually want to put it closer. I have two choices. I, I think what I might do, actually, is build a second... Tinker's Construct Smeltery over here that's closer to my um, power production area. So I think that's what I'll do. I'll uh, set it up over here, I think. Uh, yeah, so I'll need another source of lava. All right, let me uh, get to work on that. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm now at the point where I have enough redstone. So let's whip up a redstone block here. One redstone block. And what I'm going to do is merge this in the induction smelter with a single piece of stone. And so what should happen is this will take a tremendously long time to make redstone ore. So, uh, what I'm going to need to do is mix the red tulip with daisy seeds. And I have been building that up over here in the agricraft farm. So I'm now at the point where I have the daisy seeds. I have the red tulip. So uh, let's make a new platform. I don't know. Right here, I guess. So... From here, this is where I'm going to place the dirt. So let's do it like this. Uh, grab, yeah, let's grab the dirt. Grab some more dirt. So one, two, three. And then I'm going to need to craft these into farmland using the mattock. Now, where do I put the mattock? Okay, looks like I don't have the mattock, so let's head back up here. Yep, dumped it off. Ah, uh, okay, so let's head back here and set down the, the various plants. One, two, one, two, and hit all this up with bone meal to bring it to mature. 
Okay. Now what I'm going to do is take the redstone ore and place it one block down under here. All right, let's check on the induction smelter. And we're done. Okay. So one redstone ore will go underneath the center block here in between the two flowers. Bam. Okay. At this point, let me grab my other crop sticks. Or correction, uh, wherever I have... Okay, I guess I don't. Again, back here. Grab some sticks. And good enough. Okay. Then we're back over here. So what I'm going to do is create the crossbar for the for the normal stick. So that's going to be placed two blocks above the redstone ore. And I'm just going to bone meal the heck out of this until I get uh, all the pieces I need. And here we go. One redstone adendron seed. Awesome. So what I need to do next is build up Basically, two more redstone ores, uh, so that way I have some space where I can crossbreed, and then uh, then I'll be in business to start building this guy up. Well, that didn't take long at all. Uh, pretty much every every expansion I did uh, ticked it up by one. So very quickly, I'm now at 10, 10, 10 seeds, and you can see that this thing is just raining redstone. I'm up to almost two stacks already, which means that anything that I have to do with redstone just got immensely easier. So let's head back down and plug in, well, let's do a chunk of redstone chipsets because I know I'm going to need those. So just let that tick away. So over here, I uh, created another... Uh, World Interaction Upgrade hooked into a uh, transfer node into a cobble gen, which is feeding crucibles, which is then pumping lava into a second Tinker Smeltery, which is hooked up to this Magna Crucible into a Smeltery Drain. So any time that I now burn, um, any time that I burn uh, material in the uh, Magna Crucible, instead of building up in this internal inventory, it's now pumping directly into the smeltery. So, destabilized redstone is going to be used for uh, something. <laughs> Let's find the uh, formula here. Destabilized redstone is going to be used in signalum, which is uh, going to need some copper and silver. So, at this point, I just need. Uh, uh, that looks like a 1 to 3 ratio. Yeah. A 3 to 1. So 1 silver to 3 copper to 1 for every bucket of redstone. So let's go and grab that. Uh, so silver, silver here. And then copper. Great. And we'll just plug that in as normal here. Oops. No, we're not because I don't have enough room for this to, uh, to grow. Oh, well. That's okay. So at this point, let's think about what I want to make next. Um, so I need to craft the slaughterhouse. So that's what's going to lead me up to pink slimes. And so for that, I need a lot of invar. So I'm going to need another machine frame. I'm going to need plastic sheets, which are no problem. Yeah. So really, I'm at the point where I just need to make more uh, 
Yeah, I don't have enough machine frames. So I could load this in, all the rest of my chipsets here. Um, yeah, so back to the machine frame. Yep, back to the dense plate. Mm. Okay, I'm all out of... All right, that drained all the uh, creosote out, but I'm all out of fuel uh, for the um, furnace as well as for the uh, coke oven. How am I doing over here? Um, yeah, I'm just going to have to sit down and uh, crank out the uh, parts for another... Uh, oh, here's a, another dense... Doohickey, so throw that in. So we're going to need another basic circuit. Let's go over here, which means I need dink, dink, dink. Let's throw that. Oh, no, probably not. I don't want to put that much in. Okay, and then I'll load this up with another bucket of water. And that should take pretty fast. Yep. Okay. And let's turn that off. Load in this. And that will... Yep. That will pop up another uh, machine frame. So this is going to take a while. So I'll check back in when this is done. All right. I'm back. And I think I have everything I need... To move forward here so let's take a look I, I've whipped up some more hardened clay because I'm going to need some more uh, connectors so let's uh, set that up doot, 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 doot. I'm gonna need iron down the middle okay and that'll be enough to get started so let's get the slaughterhouse set up so that's gonna need Two of these swords. So, one, I'm going to need some more sticks. Okay, so, I'm going to need another sword. I'm going to need two axes. Okay. There we go. One, two. I seem to be running out of room in my inventory, I think. And the last thing I need, I think, is this redstone reception coil. So let's throw out the... Uh, is that everything? No. In fact, uh, let's, let's just start loading it up. So uh, in our gears here, we're going to need the coil here, the swords here. Oh, plastic. I'm missing plastic. Okay. So plastic sheets ooh, are a little more complicated. Correction, a lot more complicated. So I'm going to need raw plastic, sawdust, and rocket fuel. Uh, and rocket fuel is coming from the vat. Okay, all right. Well, that uh, <laughs> that complicates matters. Because you used to be able to just burn down raw plastic, um, which is just taking uh, rubber bars to the uh, fourth level. Um, Okay, okay, well, compressed sawdust is going to come from, uh, where is that coming from? Sawdust is going to either come from the pulverizer. I could use another pulverizer um, because of the, uh, you know, to automate the, the uh, gravel and the sand in the dust process. Uh, let's take a look. The sawmill is going to maximize my... Uh, it's kind of a, a single-use unitasker kind of device. Uh, it's going to uh, increase the number of planks that I get out of every um, piece of wood uh, and also converts things back into planks after I've created like stairs and things like that and fences. Um, hmm. Let's take a look at the sawmill.
Yeah, not that complicated. Copper and uh, then let's take a look at the vat. So the vat is really complicated. All right, electrical steel, furnace, and the machine chassis, which is going to require aluminum, uh, which is actually, yep. So aluminum is going to be the aluminum blend, which is require energized glowstone, which luckily I just built the magma crucible, which is going to be able to go to burn down glowstone dust. But it's just going to be a, a pretty long process uh, to get ready. Hmm. Yep, this really complicates matters. Electrical steel has a couple of formulas. Here, the induction smelter or the alloy smelter. Now, you can see the alloy smelter is much cheaper. Uh, I'm going to require silicon, I think, in both cases, which means I'm going to need the... Yeah, the sag mill. Okay, so the sag mill... Well, this is getting really complicated. Sagmo is going to be another machine chassis and crushed obsidian. Okay, so I think this is like the next step. I could use a pulverizer and a sag mill. Okay, okay. So let's get the lumium at least uh, ticking. So lumium blend. Nope, okay. Molten lumium is going to come from glowstone, tin, and silver. Okay, in a one to three to one bucket. Okay. Sorry, guy. You're going to be uh, a little while. <laughs> okay. Uh, do I have any glowstone over here? Yes, okay. Um. So I have some silver, I have some copper, All right, I just need three pieces of tin. Let's grab that. Um, so luckily this is going to be pretty modular. All right, so how many, so one piece of glowstone, how much does that produce? 250, okay, so I only need four of these for every uh, one lumium I need to make. All right, so let's let that boil down. Hopefully the tin will see the silver. Bam, okay, so that'll make four ingots of molten lumium. Oh, and the rest just got converted into bronze. Okay, so I have 12 signalum, four bronze, four lumium. Okay, well, that's pretty cool. So all I need to do is whip up. Um, what do I need to whip up, actually? I need some lighting. Uh, I'm going to need another... Uh, drain, and then I'm going to need another faucet and another casting table. Yep, all right, let me get on that. All right, now it's working. Okay, so I just made another layer here on top. I uh, moved my uh, casting ingot, my ingot caster down here, and uh, so that should be enough for me to pop out a couple of. Uh, Lumium at this at this point, so let me grab just uh, two, a couple more of these, and that should be enough. So let's head over here. So what I ended up doing in the fabricator was I made a uh, a lapis uh, electron tube. This uh, so what I need to do is. To make the basic capacitor, I have to break down one of the signalums and use the, uh, I think I have to do this twice. Yep, okay, so let's put that there, lapis in the middle, 
two of the redstone chipsets, and with that, I should be able to get two capacitors. Awesome. And so, I'm going to need iron, my machine frame. Well, is that enough for me just to load that up? No, I need uh, my iron is going to have to go like this. Okay, I just have too much stuff in my inventory. All right. Yep, okay. One machine chassis. And now I don't have enough room <laughs> because I left the uh, the pistons upstairs. Okay, so let's grab these two out of here. Let's... Uh... Boy, I just... Oh, okay. This is just one hot mess. All right, so crafting table. Let's just make a another fast one. Throw that out. Um, this should do. Okay. And with the sag mill, I should now have everything. Well, do I? No, I don't. I'm missing the. Uh, crushed obsidian, which I think I do not have. All right, so back to the crusher over here. Uh, throw these two in. I think I'm going to need more than just two. Okay, so uh, back over here to... My little obsidian farmer. I'm gonna move that. It's just I've just been bumping into it every time I try to go up and down the uh, the ladder, up and down the uh, the stairs there. All right, so we'll grab this three crushed obsidian. Throw this in, and still not enough. All right, doot 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 doot. Sag mill. Okay. There we go. So uh, at this point, I prepped a little bit for the um, for the slaughterhouse that I was never uh, I'm not going to be able to make for a while. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the sag mill uh, down in the machine layer and uh, see if I can uh, start automating some uh, some gravel conversion and then uh, get ready for the uh, the next tier of machine. So if you could, please leave a comment or a like. Uh, let me know how I'm doing, and I will see you next time in Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved Skyblock Expert Mode. Bye!